what was your first experience with success where like, you know, you got paid, you, you, you got a taste of the profession. Um, and what did that teach you? Yeah. Uh, in hindsight, I don't think I realized this at the time. I wasn't thinking this way, but in hindsight, something that was probably fairly formative was, um, I, so I used to compete in these music competitions in Calgary every year and it was piano, right? So there's like a million people and seven people in your, in your class are playing the exact same piece as you, you know, and kind of mind numbing. And it was always like the biggest and most crazy stressful thing of my year. It was the thing I dreaded more than anything in the world. And again, intense Russian piano teacher, right? And, uh, and awesome, intense, but like awesome. She, she, I, I owe her so, so much. Um, <clears throat> but she was very intent on all of her students doing very well and beating all the other teachers. It was like a competition between teachers almost. Right. And so, and I did very well, you know, I won a lot of these competitions, but it was not without some, some, uh, some performance trauma. I think, um, I had a few like huge moments where I was playing from memory and it just, there was one in particular where I just, I blanked and, and my world stopped, you know, and I didn't know what came next. And I, I went back to the first thing I could think of. And that was like the beginning of the previous, like the development section or something, the, the previous like huge double bar. It was like three pages back. And, uh, and I started playing and I'm realizing like, oh crap, I went back really far. What happened? What am I, and I'm going through these thoughts in my mind. What, how, why did I forget? Why did that happen? That's so embarrassing. Okay. 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 It's going to be okay. And then I get up to that same spot and the exact same thing happens mind goes blank. I try to go back to something a little bit closer to, and I can't think of anything. So I go back all the way to that previous section. I played a third time. I get to that spot. I blank again. And eventually I just, so I just put my hands down and had to walk off the stage and go sit with my mom and my piano teacher and all the other students who were competing in the silent room with the judges, you know, and I was sitting back there crying and trying not to cry. And it was just this horrible thing, right? So it was, it was a mixed bag because I'd also win and I'd win prize money and that made me feel really good. Then I switched to trombone and there weren't really a whole lot of trombone players in my area. And the two people who were winning those competitions uh, on trombone were myself and Matt Jefferson. And that was it. We were, we were just, you know, clean, cleaning up because, um, and and it was fun. It was like exciting. So it's like, oh, there's me and there's like this trumpet player and there's this, you know, maybe whatever. And then that was it. And it felt unique. You know, we each had a unique voice, a unique piece, a unique instrument, a unique approach. It was nothing at all like this, this piano thing. And I think that probably influenced my, th my thinking quite a bit because um, I think I paid for my first year or two of college with just the winnings from high school brass competitions, you know? And like, obviously, you know, the Canadian competition scene is maybe a little bit, a uh, little bit smaller than <laughs> so, some of these other ones, you know, so it was unique. You got to, got to go to provincials and then got to go to nationals and I got to travel and play and it was really exciting. Um, so that was maybe where that, that shift started to happen. Like this, this could work. 